Today you're going to see how I feed my little guys. My seahorses are learning how to eat through a bowl. So what I do is I lower this down into the water carefully, which it's set at the right height. I'll take a squeegee and I will drop the food into it, which will come down the pipe. And they're all ready. Look at that. They're watching. And they know what's coming down. And they're getting ready to eat. Because they know their food is coming down the pipe. By doing this, I keep my cage a lot cleaner. And my tank water almost perfect and pristine, as you can see. Now I'll take a few. Now I'll take a few more here. start mixing around slowly we'll mix them around there we go and they are learning some of them still have not got the full hitch of the uh, of when the table is there but they're learning now we just sit there and watch for a minute and they will come in there when they're ready. They're well fed so they don't always come there until they find the one that they're looking for and then they'll come over. They're pretty stubborn. Hey buddy. How you doing up there? Come on down. Give a little bit of mix here and we'll turn on. We'll get them to come up just a tad bit so that way they don't have to all understand yet that the bowl is not their only source. Turn on the pump systems. This little tank is actually built. I'll have to show you show next time in another video, but this tank also has a uh, full huge chiller system and an ultraviolet light that I've installed clean across the other part of the room so by the time the water comes through here it's warmed it's uh, sanitized of all bugs and parasites and the temperature is right and it comes in through such a little trickle that it doesn't affect the horses at all as you see they'll hang on to one another and they'll play but they know where their food is and as they get hungry they will come over and eat Come on, see, you gotta learn to go up a little higher if you want those foods. It takes them just a little bit to learn. Sometimes they just don't learn for a couple of hours, but they will catch on. Those guys are way up on top. They like the heat. I'll cause a little bit of a current to make them move. So there we go. 
See, seahorses don't always like to, they like to get their prey when things are moving, so it's easier for them. And they're very finicky. But when they find the one that they want, they'll go down and get it. There we go. I like to mix mine with brine shrimp, basis, and a few other different things, and also a vibrant mix causes them to have beautiful colors. Like right now, a lot of them are taking to my star polyps and taking the color of the star polyps, purple and with with little pink, pinkish purple dots, and that's what they're starting to turn into. They're black with purple. It's pretty. The color bars are in there just so they can uh, so they can have a place to hang while their other tank is being designed. There's something about seahorses that I just, you know, find fascinating. Been doing this for a while now. My big guy, there he is, he still hasn't given birth yet. But he's holding the babies in his pouch. It's really funny, but that's how it works. The female lays the eggs and then into the male's pouch they go. And the male will care for them and hatch them. So they will stay they will stay safe with the male. So the female doesn't have to do the work. A lot of women love the idea that males have to do all the work. Well, in this case, they do. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Any comments or questions, feel free to ask.